InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. I'm Dasan Karioki from Kapsabit High School, Nandi County. My name is Brayton Mwita from Kapsabit Boys High School, Nandi County. My name is Elin Makambi, Kapsabit Boys High School, Nandi County. My name is Leon Kandi, a student of Kapsabit Boys High School in Nandi County. My name is Isaac Mugita from Kapsabit Boys High School, Nandi County. My name is Adam Skipsang from Kapsokwany Boys High School, Bungoma County. Education is not the filling of a pail, it is the lighting of a fire by William Butler Yates. Six contestants, only two spots at the semi-finals. Who will make it? We are soon to find out. InterSwitch Spark Kenya 3.0 is proudly brought to you by InterSwitch. Never stop. joining us on another episode of InterSwitch Spark Kenya National Science Competition. We have six contestants today, but only two spots at the semi-finals. InterSwitch Spark is in three stages, the preliminary stage, the semi-final stage, and the final stage. We have six contestants ready on the stage. Hello, Brighton, how are you feeling today? I'm fine. You feeling fine? Yes. Uh, do let us know which school this is. I'm from Kapsabed Boys High School, Nandi County. Who's the governor of Nandi County? Steven Sang. Steven Sang. Yes. All right, it seems you know your county well enough. Leon from the same school, Kapsabed High School, yes? Yes. Do tell me, what is it that you pride yourself in as Kapsabed High School? As a school, we have a culture that drives us to pursue what we want, the determination and the attitude of not giving up. I think that's what I plan about Cups of Okay, all right. Well, thank you for that. This show also requires determination. Elliot, you uh, look like a choir master. Uh, Since the majority is from Cups of High, do you have a school anthem? I'm not really a choir master, and <laughs> unfortunately, we do not have a school anthem. You don't have a school anthem at all? Yeah. Okay, well, a school motto? A school motto is strive to excel. Strive to excel. Right, so today we hope that you all strive to excel. The winner of Industry Spark Kenya 3.0 will take home a five-year university scholarship worth 1.5 million Kenya shilling. The second place winner will take home a university scholarship worth 750,000 Kenya shillings and in third place, a one-year university scholarship worth 150,000 Kenya shillings. There is so much to play for here on InterSwitch SPAC. It is now time to celebrate our Hero of the Week. Agriculture became fascinating to Esther Ngubi at the age of seven when her parents made her cultivate cabbages on a strip of land. This opened her eyes to the setbacks that farmers experience as a result of sterile soil and droughts. Esther believes that better urban agriculture can help to combat unhealthy eating. In 2011, she became one of the first people from her community to achieve a doctorate in entomology at Auburn University. She agitates for education, especially in sciences and technology for girls in rural communities. In conjunction with her family, Esther has established a school in her hometown called Dr. Ndumi Faulu Academy. This school caters for over a hundred middle school students. Esther serves as an assistant professor of entomology and African-American studies at the University of Illinois at Urbana Campaign. She is a mentor to young researchers through the Clinton Foundation and she is also inspiring our super sparks today. In the Kenyan coast region, people appreciated beauty from the tender age and they emphasized less on education. Today, I have a PhD in entomology. I also have four sets of ear piercings. If we have more people like Esther Ngumbi, the world would definitely be a better place. Fortunately, 
We have with us future Sparksters and STEM heroes in our midst today. We are yet to see the performance of our six Super Sparks. Who will be the two that proceed to the semi-finals? We will get right into it after this break. Hmm. Let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans. But innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa. One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listened to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for innovation. So go ahead, flip that switch. Build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us. And what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new. Because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. for staying with us. This is InterSwitch Spark Kenya 3.0. Before the break, we saw our Spark Hero of the Week. So Danson, what can you say about our Spark Hero, Esther Ngumbi? I think agriculture. Agriculture? Yes. What can be done about it? I think we need to find good fertilizers. It has been a major challenge for many farmers, especially those who are small scale. So it becomes so frustrating for the farmers. Right. Okay. Yeah. And like you said, you're from Nandi County. Our yes, current uh, president, His Excellency William Ruto, one of the first agendas when he took the off of office was trying to reduce the price of fertilizers in the country. To our six super sparks, we are about to begin the foundation round. 12 questions, each question within 15 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Here comes question one. What contains two units of simple sugar? Is it common sugar, complex sugar, disaccharides or monosaccharides? What contains two units of simple sugars? I'll give this to Adams from Bungoma County. I think the correct answer is option C. Do we agree with him, Leon? Yes. Why? Well, a disaccharide is a carbohydrate compound that is made up of two simple sugar units which are joined together. That is correct. As it is in the name, two di. So disaccharides is the correct answer. Isaac, now you know the answer, yes? yes? Let us proceed. Best of luck. Question two. The type of connection of capacitor in the image is? The type of connection shown is? Is it complex, straight, parallel, or is that a series connection. What is the correct answer? Elliot? It is a series connection. A series connection. Brighton, do you agree? Yes. It's a series connection. Yes. Correct answer is indeed a series connection. Brighton, you agreed. Um, maybe you hesitated when you're answering, but best of luck in the next question. Question number three. Factorize x to the power of 2 plus 4x plus 4. Is it a into brackets x plus 2 into brackets 2x plus 1, b x plus 2 into brackets into brackets x plus 2, c into brackets x plus 2 x plus 1, or is it d x plus 4 into brackets x plus 2? Elliot, you're the chosen one. How would you factorize this? I, I didn't get the time to calculate it, so I didn't get the answer. Okay. The correct answer is option B. Next question, number four. Which gas law relates to the rate of diffusion of gases to their densities or relative molecular masses? Is it Graham's law, Boyle's law, Charles' law, or Dalton's law? Which law is this? A question in chemistry, Isaac. Uh, I think the correct answer is just A. Mm -hmm. Since Graham's law states that the rate of diffusion of gases is inversely proportional to the, the square root of the density. Based on the results, it seems all of our contestants knew the correct answer. 10 points to the first three who got it fastest. Next 
question what is not a type of skeleton what is not a type of skeleton a endoskeleton b hydrostatic skeleton c exoskeleton or d hypostatic skeleton which of this is not a type of skeleton Adams, the correct answer is option D. Hypostatic skeleton is not a type of skeleton. I do wish you the best of luck in the next question. Question six, which is the halfway point. A block placed on an inclined plane at an angle X slides down at a constant speed. The coefficient of kinetic energy is A, sine X, B, cos X, C, 2G sine X or D, tan x brighton what do you think the answer is c c that would be theta anyone else want to try dancing i'm not sure you're not sure okay let us find out the answer dancing you were indeed correct when you chose option d tan is the coefficient of kinetic energy this brings us to the halfway point of the foundation round when we come back, I'll read out the average scores so far so that the contestants might know how they fare. Do stay with us. And we're back. It is Industry Spark Kenya National Science Competition Foundation Round. Six questions to go. We still don't know who the winners will be and there are only four of you that will make it to the next round. Let's proceed. Question seven, what is the value of the indicated angle X? What is the value of the indicated angle X? Is it 120, 80 degrees, 100 degrees, or 150 degrees? The value of X. Adam, what would be the total of those angles? 360. 360, and we've been shown 280 degrees. So what would be the value of X? 80 degrees. Indeed, 80 degrees is the correct answer. Let us see how the contestants fared. Adams, Eliud, and Danson scored 10 points each. Which brings us to question number eight. Inorganic acids are also called, inorganic acids are also called, A, mineral acids, B, tartaric acids, C, formic acids, or D, carboxylic acids. What are inorganic acids? called. Leon, you want to give it a try? I believe that the answer is A. You believe the answer is A, mineral acids. Happy to tell you that the correct answer is indeed A, mineral acids are inorganic acids. More questions to go, you still have a chance to make it even if you haven't answered the other questions correctly. Here comes question number nine. The part C in the image shown is called, the part C in the image shown is called the ulna, the humerus, the femur, or the radius. What is the part C called? The fastest to input the answer in this question was Leon. So Leon, what part of the body is that? I believe it's the humerus. Okay, part C you're saying is the humerus. Um, Danson. I also kept humerus, but I'm not sure. You're not sure if it's really humerus or not. <laughs> It is indeed the humorous. Isaac is the only contestant who didn't get it right, but now I'm sure he knows, and you'll do better in the next question, yeah? Yes. All right. Question number 10 of the foundation round. Which of the following is a scalar quantity? Which of the following is a scalar quantity? Mass, tension, impulse, or weight? Which of this is a scalar quantity? The correct answer is option A, and all our contestants got it right. Kindly give it up for them. Two questions left in the foundation round. I only need four out of the six of you. It's gotten tougher. Question 11. On dividing a negative integer by another negative integer, the result will be? Is it one? Is it negative? Is it zero or is it positive? What do you get when you divide a negative integer by another negative integer? Elliot? It will be positive. Why will it be positive? Uh, negative uh, divided by another, another negative integer will give us a positive value. What if it was negative by another positive? If it were negative and positive integer, it would have given us a negative integer. 
Danson. Yes. What do you think about that answer? It's a positive. It's a positive. Yeah. The correct answer is positive. This now brings us to the final question. Of the chemical formula shown, which one represents soda ash? Which of this represents soda ash? Is it A, Y, B, X, C, W, or D, Z? Two contestants got it right. That's Adams and Danson. So, Adams. The correct answer is choice D. D. Read that out for us. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. And that is soda ash. All the other contestants have now learned what soda ash is. Six contestants, but only four can proceed to the advanced round. We'll find out who drops out after the break. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. It is InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition. Adams, what do you think about your performance in that round? I think I have I proceed. You think you'll proceed? What about a Danson? What's your confidence level on this one? I think I've made it. You think you've made it? Yes. Danson with 105 points. You have indeed made it to the advanced round. Adam, I'm happy to tell you that you also have made it to the advanced round. Going home at this point, we have Elliot and Isaac. Thank you very much for being here today. I wish you the very best of luck. Kindly give it up for them as they exit the stage. Therefore, we now have four contestants on stage. Danson, Brighton, Leon, and Adams. Contestants, this is a look at how you fared in the foundation round. However, we're now beginning on a clean slate. In the advanced round, these points will not matter. To our four contestants, in the advanced round, you can determine the subject areas from which questions will be picked. You will then have 45 seconds to attempt these questions. If you cannot provide the right answer in that moment, kindly say pass and we will move on and get back to that question as long as it is within your 45 seconds. To determine the sequence of play, we take a turn. Here comes the take a turn puzzle for today. Match the following countries with their respective capital. Match the country and the capital. We have Yaoundé, Beijing, Accra, and Yamusokoro. We have the countries as China, Cameroon, Ghana, and Ivory Coast. We're waiting for the contestants to correctly match the counties. Danson has been able to do so. He's matched all the count countries to the capitals. The other contestants are attempting to match the countries to the capitals. You're dragging the items on the right to fit the items on the left. Brighton has followed Danson. He's been able to solve this puzzle. And now all contestants have managed to solve the puzzle. So Danson, are you ready? I'm ready. My name is Danson Karaoke from Kapsari Boys High School, Nandi County. And I'm ready to spark. Danson, yes. now is your time to spark. Parasites that live inside the body of a host are called? Endoparasites. An animal or plant in which a parasite lives is called? Host. The catalytic hydrogenation of oil results in the production of? Pass. What is the only metal that exists as liquid at room temperature? Mercury. What opposes the motion of two bodies Free in contact? Chop. What force opposes the motion of a stone thrown into a cylinder of a liquid? Viscosity. How many known planets are there in our solar system? Eight. What month did Kenya become independent? Pass. What place where the British laws live? Do the British laws live? Pass. Who was the first governor of Wajir County? Pass. The catalytic hydrogenation of oils results in the production of? Pass. What month did Kenya become independent? June. That is it for our contestant, Danson. Kindly, contestants, give it up for him. <laughs> Brighton, are you ready? I'm Brighton Mwita from Kapsabi Boya School, Nandi County. I'm ready to spark. Brighton, now is your time to spark. What process is used for the commercial refining of copper? Pass. What thermodynamic term is a quantitative measure of disorder in a system? Pass. What type of material allows large amount of light to pass through them? L transparent. What kind of image can be caught on a screen? Pass. The gas called laughing gas is an oxide of which element? Nitrogen. The element with Latin name Kelium atomic number 19 is? Potassium. 
After digestion, protein is converted into? Amino acids. The femur bones are also known as? Pus. What is the second largest city in Kenya after Nairobi in Nairobi. terms of population? Mombasa. From the year 1895, who colonized Kenya? British. What process is used for the commercial refining of copper? Pus. What thermodynamic term is a quantitative measure of disorder in a system? Tell me. That is it for Brighton. Kindly give it up for him. <laughs> All right. Leon, are you ready? My name is Leon Kandir from Kapsabit Boys High School and I am ready to spark. Leon, now is your time to spark. What organ rolls Down. food into bolus? A group of similar cells that come together Tish. to form a specific function. What ethnic group in Kama is Fenya's famous for making carvings? Kenya is a republic of what part of Africa? East Africa. The motion of a body in a parabolic shaped path is known as? Oscillation. What is the area expansivity Pass. of a rod? The building up of large molecules Pass. from smaller molecules is? Proteins are made up of smaller Amino units of what? What is the value of x in the equation? 2x equals 1 over 4. 1 over 8. Simplify. 2 into brackets. 4 Pass. plus 9y when y equals 1. What ethnic group in Kenya is famous for carvings? Masai. The motion of body in a parabolic shaped path is known as? Oscillation. What is the area expansivity of a rod Pass. if its linear expansivity is? The building up of large molecules from small molecules is called? Pass. Simplify. 2 into brackets. 4 plus 9y when y equals Six. 1. That is it for Liam. Congratulations for making it through those 45 seconds. It is not easy. Adams, are you ready? I'm Adams Kipsang and I'm ready from Capsule Coin Boys High School and I'm ready to spark. Adams, now is your time to spark. Three isotopes of origin are protium, deuterium Pass. and what? What term describes a solid that can capture moisture from the atmosphere and turn into a solution? Pass. The electromagnetic wave of the lowest wavelength is? Pass. Bodies or moving objects are streamlined to prevent what? Friction. Fine, 75% of 20. 15. What, work out the value of it, brackets 5 plus Pass. 100 degrees. There are 60 students in a class. A third of the total number of students is male. What is the total number of females? 20, 40. Evaluate 3 y squared minus 5 y minus 6, where y is negative 2. Pass. What is 25% of 2 hours in minutes? 1 hour, 45 minutes. Find the reciprocal of half of minus 1. Pass. Right, that is it for Adams. Kindly, let's give it up for him. Our four contestants have attempted questions in the advanced round. I would like to take all of them to the semi-finals, but there are only two spots. We'll find out after the break who makes it. Two decades ago, we flipped the switch, flooded the dark continent with light, created an industry, opened the doors that ushered in the future. Africa is emerging, visionaries are evolving, but it wasn't always this way. Before the beginning, cash ruled the streets and crime was its aid. Africa was groping, coping with the darkness, until we founded the switch and turned on the future. 20 years after, the dark continent is now bursting with innovation and we're just getting started. Until Africa is borderless, limitless, we are never stopping. Welcome to the Odyssey, the first experience. The future begins today. It is Interswitch Park Kenya 3.0. We have seen a great show of knowledge from our contestants. However, only two out of the four of you can proceed to the semi-finals. Exiting the stage with 60 points, kindly give it up for Adams. Thank you very much, Adams. All the best in future. We now have Brighton, Leon, and Danson. All of you with 120 points. It is a tie, which means we're going to the tiebreaker segment, the sudden end. In the sudden end, a question will appear on your screens. The first to the buzzer will have the option to give us the answer. If you give us a correct answer, you proceed to the semifinals. If you don't, you are out of the race, leaving the rest to automatically qualify. The competition has just gotten tougher. The pressing of a buzzer could be how you proceed to the semifinals. 
All right, to our contestants, a question will appear on the screen. The faster the buzzer, we'll have five seconds to attempt it. Do we understand? It is time for the sudden end question. The first set of teeth possessed by humans, the young ones, are, is called what? The first person to the buzzer is Leon Candier. They are called milk teeth. They're called milk teeth. Leon, if this is incorrect, you are automatically out of the race. You understand that? Yes. Leon, with your answer as milk teeth, congratulations, you have proceeded to the semi-final stage of Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. You can take a deep breath now. All right. We still have two contestants with 120 points. The same rule applies. Danson Brighton, this question will determine if you go through to the semifinals or you go back home to Nandi County. Who will it be? Here comes the sudden end question. Organisms which consist of only one cell is rated. It's called? Right, the first person to the buzzer is Danson. Give us an answer. Unicellular. Unicellular? Yes. Danson, you know the stakes. If this is incorrect, Brighton automatically qualifies to the semi-final. Yeah. Giving us the answer as unicellular, Danson Karaoke. You have made it to the semi-final stage of Interswitch Park Kenya 3.0. What show of brilliance. Brighton, as you have seen, you are one step away, but we appreciate you for being here today. It is goodbye for now. Welcome back. The nerves on today's show. As we have seen, our contestants need perseverance, accuracy, and definitely speed. This has been Interswitch Pack National Science Competition 3.0. Danson and Leon have been able to proceed to the semifinals. Till next week, do follow us on social media at Interswitch Pack Kenya. I sure wish you a wonderful week ahead. Interswitch SPAC is an Interswitch Switch a Future initiative.